Hi guys, today we're going to learn about exposing Apex classes as REST web services in Salesforce. We're going to first create a class that's going to retrieve, insert and delete accounts. We're going to then create and set up a connected app through which we are going to connect to this REST API. Then we'll use Postman to call these three HTTP methods in the Apex class. First go to the App Manager in the Setup menu. Then create a new connected app. Let's call this connected app, test connected app. Let's put in a contact email. Make sure that we enable all settings. Put in the following callback URL. For the purpose of this example, we will give this connected app full access. But as you can see, there are various options in terms of access, which I will not go through in this example. Uncheck require secret for web server flow and require secret for refresh token flow for now. Click save and click continue. You should have a connected app called test connected app set up. Now open up the developer console. I've already opened it. Click file new Apex class and create a class that looks something like this. The code can be found on the official Salesforce documentation, the link of which I will post to the video description. The rest resource syntax on this class will denote what the path of the rest web service will be. The class needs to be global with sharing and each HTTP method is denoted by this syntax here. This would be the method that handles the HTTP delete method. As you can see, we are retrieving the request URL and we're stripping out the last section where we'll put the account ID. Using that account ID, we'll then query the account in question and delete the account. Obviously, the standard APIs can handle this but for the purpose of this demonstration, we are keeping the code in the HTTP method simple. You can basically put any code that you want in this method, which will be a lot more involved than a standard request. The get method will be very similar, except we'll just select the account and return the result. Post method will be slightly different. It has three parameters, the name, phone, and the website. It will create a new instance of account, insert that account, and return its ID. Access to the Apex class also needs to be set up. If you go to the Apex classes section, click on security on the class which you just created and assign the profile of the user which you are going to use to authenticate to Salesforce with. In this case, I'm using my admin account, so system administrator profile is already enabled. Now we're almost ready to use Postman to connect to the REST services, but we first need to do one more thing. Under App Manager, we need to see the client ID and secret of the connected app. Go to the connected app under App Manager, click View, and click Manage Consumer Details. Here, you'll see the consumer key and the consumer secret that you're going to use in Postman to authenticate. Now we go to Postman and create the requests. The first request is going to be to retrieve the token in order to use all the HTTP methods which we set up. The URL which the retrieve token uses is this one. It's a post method. In your body, set up Client ID to be the client ID which you saw in your connected app. Client secret, your client secret which we saw in our connected app. Username, your username that you're using to authenticate to the REST methods. The password of the user which you're using to connect to your REST methods. Concatenated with your security code token which you can reset under my personal information. And then a grant type needs to be password. When I run the retrieve token request, I will it will retrieve an access token. On to the get method which we set up in our Apex class. As you can see it ends off with an account ID which will be extracted from the request URL in the Apex. You can see it uses a get method and an authorization key in a header with the value having bearer and the token which we retrieved in the previous request. If we click send, we will retrieve the account details for that account ID which we specified. On to the post method which we created. As you can see there's no ID on this one because the body will contain the properties of the account which we want to create. On the header again we have an authorization key with a value containing bearer, space and the session token which we just generated. If I click send, the ID of the new account is created. If we go back to retrieve accounts, the new account is created. For the previous GET request, we retrieved this account here. Now all there is left to do is to delete the account we just created. If we go back to the newly created account 
let's copy the account ID put it at the end of the request and note how we have the delete method if we click send you'll see that succeeds if I refresh the account we just created the account doesn't exist anymore the delete method in the same way as the other two methods also needs an authorization header with bearer concatenated with the session token that we retrieved in our retrieve token method and that's all you need for exposing apex classes as rest web services in salesforce if you liked the video please like and subscribe for any further updates